do my baby. About to catch the bus. What time is it, baby? 7.50? 7.50. We out here catching the bus. <laughs> The bus and now no we just got yeah we got the bus but I got to gotta take the train yay The day is winding down. It is after six now and I missed the bus coming home. I didn't film because I was running. My friend, my coworker dropped me off at the bus stop, at the train stop. Had to take the train to the bus. Missed the bus by about one minute. Scott was on that bus so he got off the bus so he could wait with me for the next bus. <sighs> we ended up taking a different bus to get closer to um, where we live because it doesn't go in the same place. And then we waited at McDonald's until the next bus, the one that took us right to our, our house, came by, which was like 20 minutes. So it, it all worked out. The bus stop by the train station doesn't have a bench or anything, and so there's like no shelter or anything. It really sucks. I might head up just because I'm cold. My hair still, my hair stayed nice all day, but I'm freezing. <laughs> We try not to turn our heat on because we're being frugal. I hope you enjoyed the first day, um, and I hope I can continue doing this, challenging myself to filming every day and capturing, um, you know, what's happening in December. Thank you for watching. Bye. Good morning. Scott's being all creepy. He has the lights off. What's up with you? I got the lights off. He has that one on. That's where he is. It is 6.30. I am dressed, ready to go to work. I have a big presentation all day today. So, let's see how it goes. So, every time I lead a session, I always think back to teaching. I was a high school English teacher for two years. And... There was a lot of work that went into lesson planning and creating materials for your students and making sure they were engaged and all of that. Sometimes I did amazing and my students were extremely engaged and sometimes I failed and I sucked at planning and so my students were like, Mr. Dravi, uh, can we hurry up and finish, you know. So I am always thinking about ways to keep the participants engaged and I want to make sure that Everything they get from this training is really worthwhile and useful to them. The last training was really great, and so I'm trying to top that. We're gonna see. Ten minutes. When the Defense Department was established after World War II, a law said that any defense secretary with military experience. At work, I 
Finished my presentation. Yes, that's a unicorn head. I'll tell you about it later. I'm just finishing up. I just finished printing out my papers from my presentation. And um, I'm going to head out. I have to go to another organization where we're having our um, training today. Still figuring out some things. <laughs> it's going to be great. Happy birthday to you. So anyway, this is from Oyen Handmade, which is um, a hair company that I really love. I got the hairdo. This is for Scott's hair mainly. I got the honey hemp conditioner, which I love. Eight ounce shine and define, which I have not used for years. I used this back in 2009. And so, this would be good to try out again. So that's what I got from Oyen. I got this dress, this black dress, which you'll see me in, you have seen me in it earlier. I also got this cute little top for work. It's like this yellow, mustard yellow top. It's a blouse. Thought it was really cute and it was only $7. This stuff is so good, this honey hemp conditioner. It smells amazing and it's really good if your hair is really tangled. Like my hair right now, I'm gonna show you. Take it out. My hair right now is a hot mess and I need to wash it. That's crazy. Like 6.45 p.m. It's really windy outside. Um, this is when it's supposed to snow. This weekend it's been a really good day just super tired so I think I'm gonna lay in bed and hope he comes in and reads the Bible with me because we've been trying to do Bible study together and now I'm going to um, relax bye <laughs> what are you doing with that then? That's it. Okay. Girl, how it is. Um, she went through a lot of things. Really? I'm doing Vlogmas. Have you heard of that? Vlogging every day in December? on Amazon. I have, um, Scott has Amazon video. Sounds like a okay. movie that might be on there. Yeah. Oh, I forgot I was recording myself. <laughs> Hi, we're at our, we are at Westfield South Center. We're about to go see Fantastic Beasts. Really excited about it. My sister's been calling me about it since yesterday. The movie starts at 11.10. But you know, previews are a long time. I just hope there's not a lot of people in the theater. I want to get a good seat. Hey, we just left the movie theater. It was really good. All right. Just finished. Fantastic Beats and Where to Find Them. It's really good. Oh, sorry. And yeah, so now I'm going to go to Earthbound and get some incense.
Okay, I'm gonna separate my hair into two sections. I washed my hair after letting that conditioner sit in there. So now I am going to blow dry my hair. You want to film? Yes, you want to film? I'm going to clip my nails. <laughs> Scott is um, good because he clips his nails in the appropriate location. Unlike me. How many of you don't clip your nails in the bathroom near the trash can? Come on, that's so inconvenient. It's better to do it in bed or on the couch. <laughs> Here we go. What do you think? It looks my hair looks so different from how it did just a couple months ago. Hey outside. I said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his slaves, quickly. It is like 7.30. Scott already went to work. He caught the early bus. But I decided to be a good wife or good partner in keeping this house clean and wash the dishes like I had promised yesterday, but I wanted to sleep. So <laughs> I'm going to take the later bus in. I was just watching this recap video from the conference Racing Forward, which is a conference that happened in Atlanta this year. It's a, um, 
a yearly conference and I really wanted to go to that conference. I actually thought about going because my job gives us a professional development um, budget so we can go to different conferences and different um, workshops and things like that to help us with our own professional development. I decided not to go um, because I thought it was going to be a lot of money and I wanted to do something that's more geared towards my field. But now I'm really wishing I went. And also one of my friends, Valerie, went to that conference. And so that would have been so awesome to see her because we had just gone to Standing Rock together. Um, but I saw the video, the, the thumbnail on YouTube was a picture of uh, Pramila Jayapal, who is the congresswoman here in representing Washington state. And also it was, um, Linda, I can't pronounce, I don't know how to pronounce her last name. Um, she's a Muslim woman and I follow her on Twitter. And so I thought that was really cool that, um, it just would have been great to have the opportunity to meet these people that I, that I follow and that I, I look up to, um, and they're really doing a lot to be advocates for people of color. Um, so yesterday, Obama and the Army Corps of Engineers denied the permit for the Dakota Access Pipeline to go under the river or the lake. And so that means there's a victory in Standing Rock right now. But I don't know if I trust it because... Um, there was a plan for today or tomorrow, I can't remember how soon it was going to be, for about 2,000 veterans to go to Standing Rock and stand in solidarity and be with the water protectors um, to try to stop this from happening, you know. And they announced this right before that happened. And I don't think that was any um, coincidence at all. You know, I think that really the government didn't want all of those veterans to go. They didn't want that to be national, international news, that all of these veterans were going to support these water protectors who the media has framed as um, violent protesters, protesters who have started fires, protesters who have fought against the police, when that's not true. Things have been extremely peaceful um, on the side of the water protectors. The police, um, mandated by the governor of North Dakota, are the ones who have been attacking violently the water protectors and the people there who are fighting um, to protect the water. And so, I don't want to say fighting, because they're not fighting. They're just standing with the water. They're there as peaceful protesters. They're there peacefully. Um, so, the government has issued this, you know, denial of the permit. And now they are saying that there's a victory at Sanding Rock. But the thing is, now they're just going to reroute the pipeline. They're going to reroute it, so it's not going to go through native land I don't think it's going to go to native land. I don't, I haven't done enough research yet to see what the new route is going to be. But I mean, of course we know that the route was, was initially supposed to go through Bismarck, but the people of Bismarck protested and said, no, we don't want the route to go through. We don't want this pipeline to come through and pollute our water. And so, um, we'll see where the pipeline goes through now, but we want the pipeline to end. We want it, we wanted it to be stopped completely, not just rerouted. So the fight is not over. This is not just about, you know, oh, they kept saying like, oh, it's it's to protect Native American water. This is to protect all of our water. Um, all of us would be affected if there was a, a, if the pipeline bursted in the Missouri River because so many different bodies of water connect to the Missouri River. So, um, yeah, the fight continues and I'm going to look for ways for, for me to be involved more. Um, I did go to Sandy Rock in October, um, but there's always more we can do. Get involved with our, our local political situations if you're into that. Getting involved with um, issues that are happening in your own community. Hello, walking to work. <laughs> no one's behind me. No one can look at me crazy. It's freezing out here. It snowed this morning. What's up with that? It's like a pop-up thing. 
Next stop, Mount Baker Station. So I'm about to start editing. I have Final Cut Pro all pulled up. I just wanted to close out this week's Vlogmas. I hope that you enjoyed it. We plan on doing this um, every week, so you should still expect it on Tuesdays. We both work during the week, so it's, it's pretty hard to um, get daily vlogs up, but weekly vlogs, I think we can do it. It'll be a challenge, but it'll be really fun. See you later. <laughs>